Well, they're a multiple offense. They give you a, di a bunch of different looks, new things each week. Quarterback obviously has a strong arm, can throw the ball down the field, got speed at the receiver position. So, I mean, the same challenges that we face every week. It, we got to line up, be sound. We got to stop the run better. Um, we got to uh, defend against the shots and uh, make sure we keep things in front of us. Is it a little easier to accept when it's kind of a broken play at the scramble that's, that's gouging you, or that's not a fundamental thing, or does it not matter? Uh, it does matter. I mean, none of it's easy. I mean, uh, the last two weeks against Indiana, uh, back at quarterback came in and got a 70-some yard run. We had a missed tackle and lost leverage on that one. Uh, it had nothing to do with the scheme or fundamental. I mean, fundamental was the missed tackle. Uh, last week, it was just quarterback had like 150 yards on quarterback scrambles, you know, drop back pass, uh, nothing there, and he pull off and run. He has some speed, and we got to do a better job of containing the quarterback and being in rush lanes and making sure that uh, in coverage that we have some guys with his own eyes to, that can come back and help play the quarterback if he if starts to take off. What was your memory of the Penn State game last year and, and ending on a defensive play? Oh, it was a great game, great atmosphere, hard-fought game on both sides uh, for both teams. Um, we, ju we jumped out to a good lead, 17-0, felt like we were controlling the game. Next thing you know, it's a 17-all game, and it's overtime. Um, but uh, I thought it was a really a great game for us to go uh, into an environment like that as a football team, win that game uh, the way we did. I thought it helped springboard us to a good season as the season went on. But it was a really hard-fought game with two good teams. You guys were such, so good at eliminating big plays last year. I think except for the Cincinnati game, that might have been the aberration last year. Do you feel like it's alarming this year? Or do you feel like it's just maybe some, you know, like Bill said earlier, maybe some broken plays, some fluke plays? Or are you concerned about it? Uh, no, not con there's nothing that's happened to us uh, so far this year that's uh, not correctable. Um, again, against Indiana, uh, the quarterback got out for 70 yards. Yeah, yeah, again, we, we missed a tackle. We had guys there, we missed a tackle. And a guy was, he outran us, he was fast. Uh, this uh, past week, the quarterback scrambled a lot. Um, they put in a new quarterback. Uh, we had a pretty good. Uh, we thought we had an idea of who might be the quarterback, but uh, they put in some new plays uh, to feature the quarterback run game that we hadn't necessarily been ready for or seen on film out of them. So that caught us off guard a little bit. But it wasn't even that. It was the quarterback scrambles when he dropped back pass to pass, and there was nothing there. He just pulled it down and ran. Those are the things that, that got us uh, this past week. So. Um, it's disappointing. It makes you sick. Uh, you know, statistically, it looks bad, but uh, that's nothing that's not correctable. And the long pass.